Hello, fellow simmers. Have you ever been gazing out a window and wondered what the little bars between the glass panes are called? Well, in this series, my sim self and I will be filling you all in on 141 plus architectural terms so you will know all of the ins and outs on that dream house you'll never be able to afford. Today, our terms will be centered around windows and our first few terms are some different structural parts of a window. First is mullions. A mullion is a structural unit that divides adjacent windows. Next are muntins. Muntins are the dividing bars between panes of glass. And third is a window sash. A window sash is the movable frame in a window in which window panes are set. Now, if we look at these two windows up above, we could imagine that these both open from both the top where we can lower the top window sash and from the bottom where we could lift the bottom window sash. And these are called double hung sash windows. Above this door, we have a long horizontal window and this window is called a transom light. They're often positioned over doorways or other larger windows. Here we have a large selection of diamond paned windows. These windows are made up of small diamond shaped panes of glass and they are common in colonial and colonial revival buildings. On either side of this door, we have tall vertical windows and these windows are called side lights. They are generally fixed windows positioned to the side of a doorway or another window. Here we have a very large selection of windows which all have shutters. Shutters are pairs of solid or slatted window coverings traditionally hinged to the exterior of a building. Here I have them on the inside so that you can see them, but they are generally used to block light or wind from the interior of a building. Next up, we have the round arched window, which is simply a window that is fully arched at its top. But along those lines, over here we have a couple examples I've put together of Palladian windows. Palladian windows are arched windows that are immediately flanked on the left and right by two smaller non-arched windows. If we follow K up the stairs, up here we will see a peekaboo window, which is a very small window which is often circular. The circular windows in The Sims are not particularly small, but I think we get the point. In the back we can see a couple examples of stained glass. Stained glass is just colored glass. Stained glass windows are fitted with pieces of colored glass, which often depict a picture or scene. Up above is a dormer window. A dormer window is a window set vertically in a structure projecting through a sloping roof, or it could be the roofed structure containing such a window. Here we have an oriel, a projecting window of an upper floor supported from below by a bracket. The bracket here is demonstrated by the two corbels that I've placed below the window. Last but not least on our list for today is roundel, a circular architectural or decorative element such as a painted panel or a stained glass window. However, in The Sims, I could not find an item that accurately represented what a roundel is, in my opinion, and so in my frustration, I have gathered for you this wall full of every circular item I could find in the game. I hope you enjoy it. So that's everything for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check back for our next episode and the next handful of words on our list. And I will hopefully see you all then. Thanks. Bye-bye.